and welcome to another episode of Gavilan College's RN Nursing Procedure Series. In this video, we'll be demonstrating the procedures for tracheostomy care. The purpose of tracheostomy care is to ensure airway patency, keep the stoma clean and free of infection, and provide aseptic cleaning of the tracheostomy inner cannula and maintain its skin integrity. The frequency of changing and cleaning the inner trach cannula depends on individual patient assessment and the physician's order. Normally, you'll change and clean the inner cannula every shift and as needed unless otherwise indicated by assessment or physician order. Sometimes the inner cannula is disposable, and if that's the case, it's completely thrown away and a new sterile inner cannula is provided. Let's watch as Carlene demonstrates the procedure. Hello, today we're going to look at overall tracheostomy care. First, you'll wash your hands thoroughly and let them dry. Second, you'll prepare the patient and explain the procedure we're about to perform. And thirdly, we'll get started with cleaning the non-disposable inner cannula by completing the following steps. Please note, if it is a disposable cannula, you will continue on with the information to the point where we do the stoma cleaning and omit the section on cleaning the, the inner cannula. So if we're going to change the non-disposable cannula, we'll first section the patient. We'll remove the inner cannula by gently rotating it back and forth, pulling it outward. With that inner cannula, you'll remove your gloves, put on sterile gloves, and put that cannula in a sterile bowl that has a mixture of half saline and half peroxide, in which you'll clean the cannula. If the trach is a Jackson, clean and replace the inner cannula. If the trach was a Shiley or a Portex, we'll insert a clean new disposable cannula. Since hydrogen peroxide is used, we're going to rinse the cannula well with saline after washing it, dry it with pipe cleaners, and place the cleaned cannula in a clean, sterile container with a date and time on it container. That container will be placed at the bedside. If the patient has a long-term trach tube, there may be only one inner cannula. And with that, you'll follow the procedure to clean and replace the cannula itself. To clean the external stoma and the skin and change the trach type, will be the following. We'll pour normal saline and hydrogen peroxide one-to-one -one solution into a sterile bowl. Put on clean gloves after washing your hands thoroughly. Using moistened sterile applicators like Q-tips and 4x4s, we're gonna clean around the stoma. Being sure to remove any dried blood mucus, anything extra. We're going to have medication if it's prescribed by the doctor and put it around the stoma. If not, no medication is needed. Then we'll apply a drain sponge and we'll follow the ENT's orders for that requirement. On a new trach, the drain sponge may be applied only after the sutures are removed from the ENT orders. Next, we'll change the trach ties after cleaning around the stoma. Trach ties, if they're dirty, if they're wet, they excoriate the neck of the patient. They should be inspected every shift and changed as needed, unless it's contraindicated for possibly being sutured in place. Before loosening the trach ties, stabilize the trach tube. This may require two people in some instances, if the patient has a strong cough reflex. Loosen the old ties and remove them. Clean and inspect the patient's neck for pressure areas, especially at the posterior portion of the neck. If the pressure areas develop, notify a doctor. Apply and securing the, the new trach ties with Velcro will be used at your institution. You should be able to get only one to two fingers around the tie once you secure it from one end to the other. Use a square knot to prevent any slippage if it's greater than one to two fingers width. 
Remove your gloves, wash your hands, document your procedure, skin condition, any secretions that were observed, and how the patient tolerated the procedure. Make sure the patient is comfortable before you leave the room. Thank you for watching. Join us next time for another detailed overview of an RN nursing procedure.